Please be seated. Each week, we gather together to corporately confess our sins before the Lord. As we pray this prayer, consider all the ways in which it individually applies to you, but it also applies to us corporately. And when we confess our sins, it reminds us of our need to run to Christ, to go to Jesus, knowing that our sins will be forgiven when we confess them. So let's together pray the prayer that is printed in your bulletin. God God of love, love, it is your your will that that we should should love you with heart, heart, soul, mind, strength, strength, and and our our neighbor neighbor as ourselves. ourselves. But But we we are are not not sufficient for these things. things. We We confess confess that our affections continually turn turn away from from you, from from purity to lust, from from freedom freedom to slavery, from from compassion to indifference, from from fullness to emptiness. Have Have mercy mercy on us. us. Order Order our lives by your holy holy word and and make your your commandments the joy of our hearts. Conform us to the image of your loving Son, Jesus, that we may shine before the world to your glory. Amen. Now take this moment for individual silent prayer of confession. Amen. The prophet Micah speaks gospel truth in Micah 7. Who is a God like you, pardoning iniquity and passing over the transgression of the remnant of his heritage? He does not retain his anger forever because he delights in mercy. He will again have compassion on us and he will subdue our iniquities. You will cast all our sins into the depths of the sea. In Jesus Christ, our sins are forgiven. Let's respond to this great word of God's grace by standing together and turning to 642. We will sing, Be Thou My Vision. <laughs> 